Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am sharing a layout for Scrapbook Your Joy and it's actually for a challenge over on the Facebook group. Um, you see right there what I'm holding is the actual tic-tac-toe challenge and I decide that I'm going to use any shade of green, a butterfly, and a tag. So it goes diagonally um, for the three. So I'm using the Vicky Booten Brand Spankin' New Wildflower and Honey Collection. And so this collection pack, well the entire collection is full of just beautiful color. And from the 12 by 12 paper pad, I decide to pull this green grungy kind of paint splattered um, patterned paper. Um, and the photo photograph that I'm using is of my oldest daughter um, this past summer. It still is summer. <laughs> um, when we went um, up north, I live north of the city. And so we went further up north uh, fishing with my parents, which we do, which we, we've been doing regularly um, every year. But this is our second year tradition where we take the girls fishing. Um, and then we stop at a burger joint um, called Weber's and Weber's is actually a Canadian like landmark if you know you know Ontario and Northern Ontario it's 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 historic <laughs> they make amazing burgers um, and they're quick and they are the definition of summer in my opinion because when I was a child my parents we would go to the beach and then on the way home, we would always stop at Weber's for burgers. Now, I didn't know growing up that once I had children, I would continue this same tradition. But here we are, <laughs> like, you know, 20 years later. Um, and so, um, yeah, so I'm just going through the 6 by 8 paper pad, and I'm choosing some papers from the collection. Now... Upon, you know, it, it was surprisingly, not even surprisingly, but, you know, to my surprise, the 6x8 paper pad is double-sided, which is so nice. So I ended up pulling the mustardy color and that burnt orange color, and the back side of um, the orange was that black and white stripe. So I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. I'm going to throw it in here somehow, and I end up using it um, as well as matting. So the pieces that I'm using to embellish are the um, stickers. Actually, what I'm using right now are the frames and the tags. That's what I'm going through right now. And just some amazing pieces. Um, I contemplate using that Polaroid-ish looking frame to, you know, frame out my daughter. But then I thought it took away too much of the photo. Um, if I had made the photo smaller or even the frame was bigger, it would totally work. But... It didn't work in this case. And if anybody knows me, you know that I also am a fan of some um, notebook paper edges. So there was one in here and I thought, yeah, you know what, I'm using it. <laughs> Sometimes I like to like save things and hoard them so that when I go back and use a collection again, I have something like really cool to look forward and play with. But in this case, I thought, you know what, let's just use it. <laughs> So all these frames are really, really cool in the collection. I love these oversized paper clip looking doodads. <laughs> Just trying to figure out here where to put things. I'm going through the collection, trying to find what works, what doesn't work. Remember, I also have to use a tag at some point. Um, and so I decide that this navy blue floral is going to work just fine. You won't see the floral piece just peeking through the navy blue. Um, and that watercolored aqua and blue tag as well. So this is the embellishment pack. This is uh, the ephemera, the actual ephemera of it. Oh, there you see me. I'm putting some foam on the back of my photo. And going into this, I didn't really know what I was going to do. Um, and then I decide ultimately to um, put my photo and my layering in the center of the page. 
this collection has so many really really great details things that you you know you don't really necessarily see things like the oversized flowers usually the flowers in collections are smaller and daintier um, there's a lot of really good greenery um, that owl I love it come on it's just it's fun it's whimsical I just I love it Plus, Vicky is very artsy, and I love that that translates into her collections, all of them, every single one that I've ever purchased, which is all of them. Um, everything that Vicky has come out with, I've, I've bought or I have worked with in some capacity, and it's just, it, it's her. It's her artsiness, it's her, her creativity in actual tangible form, and I love it. I love that um, that pure honey, that jar of honey. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love it. So here there are these, um, I think they're daisies. Maybe black-eyed Susans, I don't know. But um, the, the trio of flowers, I loved it. And I decided that I was going to use it. And I thought that, you guys know that I don't journal on my layouts. I kind of refuse to, mainly because I don't like my writing. I don't like my, um, you know, my handwriting, and so I always feel like every time I write something, I kind of ruin the layout. Um, but um, the title that I decided to go with, tell the story. I thought, you know what, you better write something, woman. So, um, with using that that title, see there, I moved, uh, <laughs> I glued down the photo or the matting over a bit too much to the left and so I tried to like tear it back up but it was just too late so I decided to just go with it and work with it I never have a plan going into things um, when I scrapbook and so I kind of just make things up as I go along um, and so yeah it's you know it's what happens so the title there is tell the story and I'm going to tell the story <laughs> All the ephemera in this collection is pretty cute too. It's different. It's not usually the same thing you see, you know, every time in collections. It's different and I love that about these collections. I should say that I love that about Vicky's collections. So for the challenge, you're going to head over to Scrapbook Your Joys uh, Facebook group. I will put the link in the description box below. So all you have to do is click on the link. It'll take you there. Um, you can join the group. And so Sandra always has fun challenges over there. Um, great group of ladies. Very talkative group of ladies. Very social group of ladies. And I love, love, love that. Um, you know, every experience type is in there from, you know, very seasoned scrapbookers to, um, you know, newbies. And just everyone is welcome. And so... You know, this month right now is a tic-tac-toe challenge, and I had fun with it. I used colors I don't necessarily use, like that green. I would have never picked out, as much as I like that paper, it probably never would have made it to a layout or like a main background piece layout, right? So I'm glad that, you know, there are, you know, challenges like this that can actually challenge you and... Um, you know, make you think outside the box. I wanted to use that little banner as well. It just, it didn't work. I had already put down that holographic one. So the thickers here that I'm using are called Wildflower. There's a lot of like tags and words and some banners, which are like tassel banners that are really stinking cute. Here I am sticking a um, thicker at the top left hand corner of the photo and I just created a little you know focal piece there with a tag and a yellow heart now these butterflies are so stinking cute they're they're layered and you'll see in a photo coming up that they're first of all they're pop dotted on a piece of foam um, I added another one just to give it more height um, then it's some really fun colored, you know, like splatter in the background with a piece of vellum on the top. Just so cute. 
and I ended up using an entire package. <laughs> when I was putting things away, I thought, you know what, where are the butterflies? There must have been like one or two left. No, I, I, you know, I finished the entire pack, which is good actually, because, you know, you want to use things up, but I used the entire pack of butterflies. <laughs> So there I am just sticking them on with my hot glue gun. I use that thing for everything nowadays. You know, I don't bother. I'm very of that, you know, instant gratification where I want things done now. <laughs> and so hot glue makes things happen now. I want it stuck and I want it stuck now. <laughs> I'm just taking some yellow baker's twine now and I'm going to um, feed it through the holes of the tags just to make them look more like tags as well. I'm just looping it through. I'm going to cut them shorter though because I don't want them to be super long. And I think now I'm going to take some uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine and just add some gold splatter and call the layout done. I really love the way this layout turned out. Totally out of my regular with that green background. Um, but I really just love it. Okay, so here I am with um, the journaling. So the title made me think, tell the story. And I wasn't going to journal because I don't journal on my layouts. But I thought, you know what, I have to tell the story. I'm, I'm Otherwise, I'm being a hypocrite. So I hopped on my computer and just wrote a couple, you know, quick lines and um, printed it out. And now I'm cutting it. Super easy, you know, and... I don't have to look at my ugly handwriting. <laughs> so what my journaling says is, our second year tradition of going fishing and then to Weber's with you, a northern experience and childhood rite of passage, and the only time of the year you'll indulge us by eating a hamburger. <laughs> my daughter will only eat a hamburger once a year. My daughter does not like meat. It is a war in my house. Um, she'd rather not eat it. <laughs> And so once a year, this being our second year, um, when she was actually old enough to eat, because she's gone as a baby as well, um, but she eats almost an entire hamburger when we go. Mind you, these things are not massive, but I mean, <laughs> it's good, you know, and ahead of time, she always tells, you know, my dad, you know, I'm, I'm going to eat a hamburger, but it's only one hamburger that I'm eating. So, you know, she schools us ahead of time and, you know, lets us know that she's doing us the favor by eating the hamburger. Um, and it's not the fact that we want to force her to eat the meat. <laughs> it's that it's, you know, a tradition and I want her to carry on this tradition. And one day she'll remember going to Weber's and eating hamburger, um, you know, with her grandparents and her parents. So there I am with the color swap, um, color swap, <laughs> Heidi swap color shine. Um, and that's it. That's my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much. Head over to the Scrapbook Your Joy Facebook group. You'll find the links below as well as the links to the shop down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks so, so much. See you soon. Bye.